Hey, what's going on? What's going on, guys? This is the Texas Roadrunner. So it is day one of us being at this campground. This is not the uh, Ratcliffe Lake area I was going to go to. I decided against it. Um, mainly due to the fact that I wanted to be uh, still in the county in case something happens. Uh, but anyways, I guess I can give you all a quote-unquote tour of the area. I don't remember the name off the top of my head of this camp. I will put it... I will put the name of it in the, in the uh, description link, the title link. Um, basically, the objective here is, one, for us to relax because I'm not feeling very good about being in a house. I, I finally realized why I like being outside, and it's because I can't, I, I can't stand being in buildings and houses for so long. Um, so aside from that... Uh, that's m the main objective. The second objective is to test all our new gear out. Um, right now we got, as y'all can see here, we got a full set army tent up. The half shelters that I showed off earlier this year. This is actually the first time we get to camp with them. Uh, inside I got our arctic sleeping bag. Which goes down, if I remember correctly, to either 0 degrees or negative 10. Either one's fine by me. And I got our uh, ACU camo pattern and um, army bivy sack over it. And then under it, I got a, uh, a blue pad under it. And, so, and that's to help keep our uh, body heat from going into the ground. Uh, aside from that, I'm using my Molly 2 ACU pack, and I got three bags of dog food and plenty of food for myself. And uh, Avery and Duke are sleeping on our Whoopi. Also, got dinner going on right now. Should probably go get more wood. Uh, tonight's dinner is just basically a uh, a uh, chicken ramen flavor for the night. And then tomorrow morning, uh, we are gonna do eggs and pop tarts. Why not, right? But uh, today, right now, it's Monday still. We'll be here until Thursday morning. Uh, my mother will come pick us up. And uh, she'll probably pick us up like around 10 or something. But it's also supposed to rain Thursday morning too. So I'm a little curious to see how that goes. You know, I want to see if the tent and the bivy sack can actually hold like people claim it will. And I'm really hoping it does. I think as long as the wind doesn't blow hard, I think the tent will withstand the weather. But uh, tomorrow, we're going to practice bushcraft skills. Uh, starting fires with uh, just flint and steel. And maybe some char cloth too, that I made a couple months ago. And we're also going to try out a few other things and let the dogs roam around and shit like that. Put that right there. Now, for those wondering why I don't put this in the middle of the fire, uh, if you put it right next to it, it still works. But if you put the pot in the middle, the handle, which is plastic, we just found this in the dumpster a couple days ago and we got it washed. Uh, but the point is, is that the plastic handle will melt off, which is why I don't put it... <coughs> Jesus, Avery, it's just old people walking by. Avery. Avery. Knock it off, okay? Anyways, um, the, pl the plastic handle would melt off. So that's the reason why I don't, uh, I, I don't, even if it's the metal ones, like complete aluminum metal or whatever, I still don't, you know, put, put, uh, put it in the middle of the fire because if I have to pick it up and I don't have gloves on or anything, then I'm screwed. Yes, I know I'm using charcoal starter. Bite me. There we go. Woo! <laughs> A Texas size fire. Nah, that's not Texas size. That's too small. And just in case if we need to, uh, we also got a Marpat plastic tarp. Uh, we'll use that as a, a ground tarp. That'll basically be a rubberized tarp, what they used to call it in the old days. So, uh, yeah, that's basically camp here. Um, thing is, we were supposed to pay, but the problem is, I think the guy who runs the camp here, who lives right there, I believe, uh, for some reason, didn't want to answer his trailer. 
uh, I was wanting to get a yearly pass because it's $25 for a yearly pass and I thought that would be great because I can use the park I can use the park whenever I want to and uh, I can also use it my main thing is I would use this park as a place to uh, test out new gear and stuff like that you know and of course I can go to other places too but you know this is a really nice park and the thing is let's see if I can get that sun out right there you can bet you can't see it because of the stupid sun but there's basically this really nice lake that connects to the uh that connects to the nature's river so uh that's always a nice treat and uh i also have a bunch of water that's another thing we're going to test out is uh i haven't have been able to do it yet but i also have uh different water purification systems with me uh mainly the purification tablets and there's a doggo right over there hope he's okay poor doggo anyways water purification tablets and a mini sawyer mini sawyer water filter or whatever the hell it's called so we're gonna test that out tomorrow too because i have the whole system with me uh so anyways yeah that's what's going on for tonight nothing special we're just relaxing and uh couldn't find out shoe st or not shoestring uh cooter didn't realize that he thought this week was supposed to be thanksgiving it's actually next thursday if i remember correctly and so he's possibly going to be here which is even better and he'll be with us until december 6th because i turned 23 on december 5th what we're gonna do is we're gonna my mom's gonna drop us off over in marshall when we get to marshall uh let's just say we're gonna try to find a ride and we're gonna get to Dallas. From Dallas, we'll go up to Oklahoma to McAllister, and we'll split off from there. He'll, he's gonna go up to McAllister to see somebody, and I'm gonna hitchhike all the way east. And so, uh, actually, I'll probably just walk the fucking rail line east and head to Arkansas. So, uh, anyways, I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna deal with my dinner over there and watch some YouTube videos. So, see ya.